皆さんこんにちはオンラインの英語の家庭教師をしているマキですよろしくお願いします Hi, I'm your host Maki and you're watching English Tutor for Japanese 今回は大人になってから本格的に英語の勉強を始められた方にどうやって英語を上達させたかについて英語でインタビューしていきます。We are joined by the lovely Natsuko. Hi, Maki. Hi, Natsuko. Thank you for joining me on my show today. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to learn about how you improved your English. So tell me,、uh, when did you first start learning English? So, I actually started learning English at eight years old. My dad got transferred to live in Atlanta, Georgia, <laughs> in the suburbs. Right. And as a family, we moved.、Um, and I from lived Japan. In, from Japan. Okay. Yes. And I lived in America for three years、mm-hmm. two years in Atlanta、mm-hmm. and one year in Chicago.、Mm-hmm. And I went back to Japan. So I kind of got a head start. Right.、Mm-hmm. Did you find it hard or easy to learn English when you first started? I still think it's impossible. <laughs> impossible. That's a big word. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so、um, t- tell me,、um, do you have a first memory of you know, when you first arrived in Atlanta, right, right. Georgia? So、um, it was in the suburbs.、Mm-hmm. And my parents put me to an American local school,、okay. elementary school. And、um, we got there in August, trying to make it in time for the school start in September here.、Mm-hmm. But for some reason, I got there on the second day. <laughs> Not the first day. <laughs> Not the first day. The second day.、Okay. Yes. You know, and I think this is like. All over the world, like common sense, but you know, first day of school is very, very、uh, exciting and very、important. terrifying.、Mm-hmm. And yes, it's important. important, right? <laughs> yes, you, it's you, very important. You, you make friends. Yeah, so that、oh, was my first day, but it was their second day.、Okay. <laughs> and then here comes this Japanese girl. Were you the only foreigner in, in the, the entire cl- school? Entire school, wow. Yes.、Okay. Um, that, that must be scary. It was. Okay. It was very scary, but. Maybe they were scared of me too. Right. <laughs> and then this girl comes, and I can't even introduce my name, right? Because、mm-hmm. I don't know how to.、Mm-hmm. Um, and I get a seat.、Mm-hmm. The teacher tells me to sit, so I think I sat there. Okay. And the first thing they told me to do、mm-hmm. was draw. Draw, okay. Okay, draw.、Uh, like a, draw a picture? Or? Yes,、okay. draw on a piece of paper. Okay. Um, it was a manila folder.、Mm-hmm. So they wanted to make a personalized folder for that year. Okay. And everybody made that the day before. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> so everyone's already made their、yes. drawing on their manila folder. And、um, you're there and you're about to on the and, second day. Yes. And, as, and I and actually. Everyone's like, who is this kid? Yes. Who is she? And I was like. I'm nobody. <laughs>、um, be cool, be cool. <laughs> yes, just, just be quiet and like observe and、mm-hmm. like try to follow.、Mm-hmm. And here comes this task.、Mm-hmm. It came really quickly.、Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I gotta do, I gotta draw, right?、Okay. But I couldn't understand what they were saying. Right.、And、so I, you, you didn't know、uh, the meaning of the word draw? Draw, no.、Okay. Um, so my parents put me to a prep school before going to Atlanta. For, so this is in Japan? In Japan. I think it was like a few times,、mm-hmm. but you know, to get used to English、mm-hmm. and try to you know, learn a little bit, a couple words. Okay.、Um, like, this is an apple,、okay. or my name is Natsuko, or something、mm-hmm. like that. And I thought I was prepared. Okay. Not at all.、Mm-hmm. Draw, here comes it. Like, and then the girl next to me was so nice.、Mm-hmm. She pulled out her folder and pulled out a pencil and said, draw.、Mm-hmm. So I. Drew the exactly same thing on my folder as, as, the, as what, the, she, what, what she, she had. had.、Okay. It was a house、mm-hmm. and a tree、mm-hmm. and some little girl. Okay. <laughs> But I drew exactly the same thing.、Mm-hmm. And then the next word was color. Color, okay. They gave me a crayon、mm-hmm. and then they drew. Did you, did you know what the meaning of color of was? Of course not. Okay. I thought color is kara in Japanese、yes. <laughs> for English.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but they gave me crayon,、mm-hmm. and you know, by that time, I was just trying to get this day through.、Mm-hmm. So, you know, they doing the same thing. I thought, you know, 
I can pass. Um, so that's what I did. Right. And I think that's the only thing I did that first day. Okay. So you found it very hard to um, learn English when you Yes, when I first started. And America. But as a kid, um, you know, kids learn a little sooner. And I mean, at eight years old, you mm -hmm. only started speaking Japanese for, you know, a couple or a few years. So, right. you know, it wasn't that hard in the beginning, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. But, um, and... I went to American school for three years and went back to Japan. Okay. So, um, yeah, more harder in the adulthood. Right. So, um, why as an adult did you decide you wanted to improve your English? Out of necessity. Okay. Do so, tell. <laughs> in 2007, mm -hmm. um, I got a job to come to the States. Okay. Uh, I moved to New York where right. I met you. Right, yes, of um, course. This is California. Mm -hmm. I moved We're in here. California. So how, how did we end up here? I mean, you yeah. So I moved here three years mm -hmm. ago to pursue my acting career. Mm -hmm. I'm an actress um, and a reporter for Major League Baseball. Cool, okay. So in 2007, I got a job mm -hmm. to cover uh, all these amazing Japanese baseball players who came to challenge um, in Major League Baseball. Right. And I had to do interviews. Mm -hmm. Were the interviews in English or? Mostly in Japanese. Okay. So work-wise, it wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. And I would have um, help as well. Mm -hmm. But just living in New York City, like on your own. Um, getting around. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, getting a house was so hard. Mm -hmm. And you know, you have to talk to all these like uh, owners mm -hmm. and realtors. And then getting a cable TV yeah. was impossible. <laughs> All important cable TV, yes. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, that's gonna be the next story. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, just getting by, mm -hmm. I thought I spoke English, mm -hmm. but I couldn't understand a lot of things that they were saying. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, that was my first turning point to like, oh, I need to get you know better. So, um, so you got, so you got the job. And then you, were, you know, you ended up in New York, and mm -hmm. then, and then by necessity, because of the job, and you had to come to New York, you had to learn English. Is that? Yes. What happened? Okay. Yes. So, um, can you share with us some of the things you did at the time to improve your English? So I mentioned cable TV. Right. Earlier. Yes, you did. That was the very important part of learning English. Okay. Um, so pretty much, I watched a lot of TV. Mm -hmm with the captions on it. Okay, the closed captioning. Closed, the, the, the subtitles. subtitles okay. but, um, American TV is great. Okay, yes. Because <laughs> for some reason, when you put a setting, mm -hmm. it captions right. everything that comes out of the TV. Yeah. Click, a, click a button. Yes. Right? Like photography, you just you know, push a button. Your photography <laughs> is not as easy as that. I make captions. it look easy. Yes, you do. Yeah, this video thing as well, it's, you know, it's easy stuff. I know, this is... Well, no, it's not. <laughs> you got to see all these, like, weapons he brought. Um, so anyways. anyway, yes. <laughs> push, okay. uh, so, so you push a button and then the subtitles appear. Right, right. Yeah, so um, I would watch and listen and read at the same time. Um, I call it the triple punch. Right. But, you know... You'll understand by you know looking at the footage and then hearing it and then actually seeing what they're saying mm -hmm. is very very helpful. Right. Um, and I watched a lot of reality shows which had a lot of conversation, like mm -hmm. normal conversation or a lot of craziness. Right. And so did you have a favorite TV show? It's very embarrassing to say, but Jersey Shore. Right. Yes came up to my mind. It's mm -hmm. not my favorite show. <laughs> um, I watched, oh, oh, oh my gosh. So at that time, my favorite show was Sex and the City. Right. Of course. I, um, I grew, um, when I was growing up in London, I, um, they had these American uh, TV imports in, um, not cable, but it was uh, sat satellite TV. So um, um, they had episodes of uh, Friends. So I kept, um, I used to watch Friends the whole time, you know, around the same time. As That's a week. great show, yes. by the way. Um, I watched grow. Uh, I watched nine hundred two one zero. Oh, how I met your mother. Right. Yes, that's another funny show. Yes, it? yes. and it's based in New York. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I tried watching all that. Mm -hmm. Um, six, six, and some oh, competition shows like Project mm -hmm. Runway, right. America's Got Top 
model. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, whenever I went home, I just pressed it, and, <laughs> and then and you start watching it. Like, mm -hmm. oh, those um, dating shows are very <laughs> addictive. Yes, um, indeed. I don't even remember what, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, then here comes uh, The Voice, American Idol. Mm -hmm. See, now it's coming back. So were you going to acting school at the time as well? So my first turning point to you know improve my English was when I first got there. Mm -hmm. And then I watched a lot of TV. Mm -hmm. And then my second turning point came when I, um, my third year, mm -hmm. when I actually started pursuing my acting career. And I took a lot of classes and one of them had um, one of them was the Meisner technique class, mm -hmm. which you had to do a lot of repetition. Okay, repetition. You get a partner, mm -hmm. and then you uh, repeat off of each other. Okay. Whatever that person is saying, you repeat it, right. and then that then this person repeats you, mm -hmm. and then on and on and on. Um, and you kind of have to listen a lot, mm -hmm. and then you also have to um, repeat a lot. Right. And that helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. So when did you see a dramatic improvement in your English? It was when I was able to fight the New York taxi driver <laughs> and win! <laughs> you were trying to get your way, I guess? Yes, you know, you, like maybe one out of three cab rides, mm -hmm. you get into the argument for some reason right. because you want to go Not this enough way. Tip. Not enough tipping? Or? I try to tip them well. Nowadays, okay. it's a lot easier because you know you get to so swipe your yeah. But um, you know, like the taxi driver goes tries to go this way, and mm -hmm. I wanted to go this way. Or you think that you know, you know, you both think that mm -hmm. you know the best route, right? right. Well, you you want to go the quicker route, whereas the driver probably wants to go the longer. Oh yeah, right. longer. You know, so we want to go cheaper. Right. Yes. <laughs> quicker. Yes, and. Um, and you know, because I'm Japanese and I look Japanese, mm -hmm. I try to act like a local person. Right. Like, you know, try to like show off that I, you know, I know my way around. Right. Okay. <laughs> but for some reason, like, there's like a lot of oh, my angry people in the world, and mm -hmm. you get into an argument, and um, you get into a lot of arguments in America, I mm -hmm. think. Um, with a cable company, again, cable company, mm -hmm. um, of the plumber, mm -hmm. or, you know, sometimes you just, that's a thing here, right? I think. Yes. And you just have to, like, you know, stand up for yourself mm -hmm. and talk. Right. And get your mind across. Mm -hmm. And maybe five years in, mm -hmm. I, you were able uh, to... I was able to, to do it, and mm -hmm. nowadays, I have no fear doing it. <laughs> right. So that was when you saw the dramatic yes. improvement in Yes, I would say that. Yeah, ah, that's cool. So finally, um, what do you do these days to keep brushing up on your English? I still watch a lot of TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> do you go to uh, see movies as well? Or do you rent movies, movies as well? Yes. Movies? Um, I, go to, I love going to theaters, but I like watching it on TV because there's subtitles right so the, the subtitles are very important That's yes important. being okay. able okay. to listen mm -hmm. and read it mm -hmm. you know what exactly they're saying right, right. I also do a lot of interviews mm -hmm. to baseball players because right. I have a column mm -hmm. um, check it out check it's it out on yes Tokyo Sports Japan mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you can Google but um, you know so it forces me to speak a lot mm -hmm. Um, in English right. and trying to get what their stories are so you know having that necessity is great so um, and I also have American roommate right important <laughs> to speak to someone in English yes I, I see yeah. so uh, lots of TV and um, finding people who are native English speakers mm -hmm. right. and a lots of repetition lots yeah. of repetition well thank you for joining me on my show today Natsuko thank you for having me I'm your host Maki I'll see you again next time オンラインの英語の家庭教師のお問い合わせは EnglishTutorJapanese.com までお願いします英語の文章修正、レズメイアップデート、発音矯正、インタビュー練習、英会話レッスン、海外留学とキャリア相談を行っておりますよろしくお願いします